Welcome to this Lean Council training on understanding and filing Wyoming lien claims. Wyoming lien rights follow the same basic three step process as found in most other states. At Lean Council, we refer to these three steps as gaining the lien right, claiming the lien right, and taming the lien right. Or gain it, claim it, tame it. In Wyoming, Subcontractors and suppliers gain the lien right by sending the owner a preliminary notice no later than 30 days after they first begin furnishing labor or materials. Generals must also send the owner a preliminary notice, but their notice is due any time before receiving their first payment from the owner. To claim the lien right, subcontractors and suppliers must file a notice of lien within 120 days after their last day of work. Generals have 150 days to file a lien. Generals, subcontractors, and suppliers tame the lien right by filing a lawsuit to foreclose their lien within 180 days after the lien is filed. Before filing a lien in Wyoming, you must send the owner a notice of intent to lien, and this notice must be sent no later than 20 days before the lien is filed. The lien is then due within 150 days of last work for generals and 120 days for subs and suppliers. After filing the lien, a copy of the lien must be sent to the owner within five days after the lien is filed. Your lien will expire 180 days after recording if you do not file a lawsuit to foreclose the lien. If you are paid, Wyoming law requires that you release the lien by filing a notice of satisfaction of lien. If you do not file this notice within five days after receiving payment, you can face a penalty of $100 per day. To file a lien in Wyoming, go to the Lien Council Ordering Center. In the Ordering Center, you choose property where your project is located and order a lien, bond claim, preliminary notice, or other notice for that project. As with all other pages on the Lien Council website, you navigate to any other part of the site by clicking on the dashboard icon or clicking the buttons to the Learning Center, Bookstore, etc. In the Ordering Center, there are two maps. The map on the left is a blank map from which you can select the property where you want to place a lien or other notice. On the right is a map showing property which has already been leaned. We recommend that first you look at currently leaned property in the map on the right to see if your project has already been leaned, so you will not have to re-enter information about the project. If your project has not already been leaned, use the map on the left to select the property for your lien or other notice. Begin your search of currently leaned properties by clicking the Maximize button at the top right corner of the map. To narrow your search, click the drop-down menu. Then select a city near your project. You can click on the bubbles to see information about the property in the details box on the right side of the screen. To see actual imagery of buildings, click the satellite button. To zoom in for a closer look at any land, move the cursor over the area you want to enlarge, and while holding down the left mouse button, drag that area to the middle of the screen. Then enlarge the map by either double-clicking the left mouse button or rolling the roller ball on your mouse forward. As you zoom in, if the area you want to view begins to move off the map, click and drag it to the middle again. Repeat the dragging and zooming process until you can see the property well enough to decide whether you want to lean this same property. If you want to lean the same property as that marked on the screen, click the Next button. If you cannot find your project from the map of currently leans properties, minimize the map and select the land you want lean from the other map. Maximize the blank map on the left. Enter the address in the box. As soon as you click the search maps button or double click on a piece of property, you'll notice the address also appears in the detail box on the right of the screen. If you are confident this is the correct address for the property, you can fill in the other fields in the details box, then click next and finish submitting your order. If you are not sure this address is correct, you can use the map to zoom in on the property and select the correct land.
after you zoom in, and find the correct property, double click on the land or the building. This will put an address in the details box. Then fill in the other boxes. Sometimes, when you double click on a property, the Google software does not have an exact address, so it will put a range in the address box. When we receive the order we will contact you and verify information with the county recorder to make sure the correct address is used. After you select the property for your notice, fill in the details about this property. In the project name field, you put in information about the project which will help you identify the notice when we communicate with you. The project name is the description we will use in our communication with you. So it can be address, account, or other information which will help you know what project we are talking about in our communications. In the owner name field, put the name of the owner. Be as accurate as possible. If you have tax ID or other information about the land, you can look up the name of the owner by using the Lean Council Search Center and searching the recorder's website. If you have a tax ID number, included it. You can look up the tax ID number using the Lean Council Search Center and searching the recorder's website. However, this is not a required field. If you have an SER number, included it, but this is not a required field. The property description can be an address or other information which will help us lane the correct property, such as tenant improvements on fifth floor, paving of south parking lot, etc. If you want to look at an exact legal description, you can look that up using the Lean Council Search Center and searching the recorder's website. You are required to put some information in this field. After you fill in the boxes, click the Next button. Then click the drop-down list to select the type of notice you want to order. Select the notice from the list. If you are unsure about what notice to order, select a notice and then click the Learn More button. Once you have selected the correct notice, click Next. Fill in the information for your order, and click Next. Review the pricing information, and then click Next to complete your order. Review your order information. If there are any errors, click the Back button to go back through your order and make corrections. Once the order is complete, enter your credit card information, and submit your order, by clicking the Place My Order button. Thank you. For using Lean Council.